This is a small town, Capitan. We are good to those who abide by our customs. Why did you want to see me? I wish to welcome you, of course. Huh. Is that all? Well, and to, uh, and to ensure that the affairs of this place go on as always. Under our supervision. We were very devoted to her. We were. She was going to go away to school. But then the war came and she volunteered. I don't understand why she signed up. My wife t t told her, begged her not to. Where are you from? Guatemala. I, I have a small construction business. And my wife, she cleaned houses. We came to America about 17 years ago. I feel bad. God, yes. Oh yeah, baby, that's some pretty good shit. <laughs> he looks like a little punk. You think he's a punk? He has to be, right? Of course he is. I'm gonna walk up to him, I'm gonna clothesline him. Yeah, I'm gonna knock the shit out of him. I'm gonna take my fucking wallet, my fucking shoes, and my previous glasses. And I'll bitch like him, too. Oh, huh? that just for me? Hell yeah, baby. That's the motherfucker that's been harassing you? That's what I've been trying to tell you. I'm gonna fucking kill him. Detective, I think you're pretty clever, aren't you? What? Think you got everybody conned? Speak English, detective. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, like hell you don't. What is your beef? You got your man. Maybe the Quinlans don't care that they send the wrong man to the chair, but I do. He saw to it I didn't receive any preferential treatment. You told me that yourself. Yeah, well, what he said and what he did turned out to be two different things. A state Supreme Court judge? Yeah, whatever. But you remember this. We both know only two people involved in this case had access to the O'Hara gun. And both their names are Quinlan. Yeah, that's right, Quinlan. You keep walking all over people. And like father, like son. <laughs>